how's this looking is this good hopefully it should be you guys no tabs tabs are nothing just forget about it I'll try to explain the um, song real slow and use your ears hopefully you can figure it out uh, so seven strings Floyd if you have one if you don't have one you won't have much problems for this specific song and then the tuning is E flat to E flat sixth string and then B flat on the seventh so for starters we have third fret seventh string and then the fifth above it just like so and then the intro riff that happens only on the fifth string uh what's that two four five two four five just these frets and then seventh string open two and three just a combination of those frets real slow <laughs> bit faster and then there's uh, this little break that happens only on the seventh string it goes uh, which is uh, two open three two seven six okie doke uh, next section uh, happens only on the seventh string open first fret and second fret only and there's this bunch of 16th notes very crazy hard to discern but I'll try to play real slow and then a bit faster it's helpful if you think about it as sections of of short and long sections of 16th notes hopefully that makes sense somehow because I'm not gonna write it down uh, so just real slow Hopefully that was all. Let me try playing it slightly faster. Hopefully that's it. And then the next section is same thing, just with the fifth above it. Okay, pinky. And when you go to the open, don't try to catch the fifth for the open. That's not gonna work quite as good. So. And we're back. What was I saying? fifths and after that we have fourths just like here seventh string second fret sixth string string third fret we have the same pattern like so back to the fifths and then the next section is just four down up down up picks for the fifth open seven second fret six string just like so and a little bend if you have a floyd rose third fret and then bend 
and if you don't just bend the second fret like so and then release so after that oct octaves just here um, what's that uh, three five seven eight sixth sixth string eighth fret octave above it and then lower that to the seventh every once in a while and you'll get what you need to get Same thing, Floyd third or bend the second release. And then we are going into the uh, refrain riff, which is just uh, f the first thing that happens is open seventh, and then we have sixth and fifth string second fret, just like so. But after that, we are just going to be playing fourths on strings five and six on these frets, just like so. Two, three, five. Just like so. And then every once in a while, you are just going to smack the open third string, nothing to it. I'll tell you exactly where. Now, once more, yes, okay, and then we're back to the stuff that we've covered, and then uh, the riff before the solo happens is two augmented fourths, just like so. Uh, sixth string first fret five two four three okay just like so open seventh string and then a little melody that happens on five three five six five three add 16th notes on the open seven later yes and then the solo I'll have to just change the camera angle for the solo but before I go to the solo just one last tip the very uh, last refrain riff that happens has this little fill it's just a slight change that goes up to the seventh fret. I'll play it real slow. You'll figure it out, I'm sure. Just here, like that. Okie doke. Everything else is already covered solo next all right the solo is just a series of arpeggios and i will refrain from mentioning where exactly there are pull-offs or what the picking should be and so on if you're not quite certain i suggest you go back study the arpeggios separately all the shapes and so on then come back try to play the solo otherwise it's not all that tricky to figure out because a lot of stuff repeats as well and that's why it's particularly lovely in my opinion but okay let's go starting 14th fret first string is just going to be the minor arpeggio shape like this like so The 
main difference between this and the usual up and down arpeggio is just uh, what happens in the sixth string is there's a little melody that goes between um, 11th, 13th, and 14th frets. And that's the theme of every other arpeggio that happens. So that repeats once again. Next arpeggio is a major shape just here. Same thing, two frets lower. Back to the first one. Next shape. Another major page you're just here. And then same thing, two frets lower. Repeat all of that once again and end up on the, what's this? 17th fret, just end up on this note here. Like so. And you've got it. That's it. I'll leave you with that. Hopefully it helps and uh, take it slow.